Hey what's going on guys, Core X Designs here and welcome to another 3D Studio Max tutorial. Today I'm going to be focusing on the basic anim basics of animation in case of cars in 3D Studio Max. Now if you already tried doing this before, you probably know that it is a pain and you know, doing it is not what you know, most people choose. I mean, they want to do it but they don't, they get put off by the difficulty that they have while animating it. The difficulty arises due to the fact that uh, for, for a perfect animation you have to have the uh, car wheels, you know, to turn at the exact same uh, rate at which the car is moving forward. I mean, you have to calculate the exact amount of revolutions that the wheel is to make if the car has to move forward and you have to do that for all four wheels, although it will be the same, but, you know, turning it and stopping it, it's, it's, it's you know, it's not you know what people do. So I found a plugin for 3D Studio Max called Craft Director Studio and it allows you to do exactly the same thing. So here's a kind of short video on what we're trying to do. So in front of you you have a very detailed car with two headlights and two backlights. It's really detailed and you know does a pretty good job. So what I did basically was I used that plugin to actually animate this. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so let's kind of play this back. So you can see that the car is moving forward at uh, you know really really well. And look at the look at the uh, work that has gone into doing this. Nothing. That's the thing. Okay. Okay. There you go. If you go ahead and look at it very closely, you'll see that we have some suspension at work. You know, when the car turns, it actually tilts, and that's that's how real cars work. Because this car is really low poly, it's about seven thousand polygons. Um, you know, Craft Director Studio automatically detects that this is a low, uh, low poly, that, and that means a uh, a lighter car. So it has a lot more suspension feel to it. You can always change the amount of suspension that you have using the using the utility, but you know, you know. All right. So when it when this stops, look at that. Okay, look at that. It actually does this uh, kind of wobbly thing that usually more most cars do when they stop. And this, this is the one thing that I really like about this plugin. Because it's super easy to use because the way you animate cars, like the, the like the like the one I did, was you basically control them as if you are in a video game. For example, if you're playing a car racing video game, you control it using the arrow keys or the WASD keys, whichever one you want. And that's the way you animate cards in Craft Director Studio, which makes it super easy to use and super fun to use as well. So I had really fun, uh, you know, doing this animation. You can see that it goes around two times and then it stops. There we go. So first thing you need to have before to before you actually start using this plugin is the actual plugin. So if you go to www.craftanimations.com, you can actually download the plugin from this link right here. However, it is a paid product, so you have to pay for it after 15 days. But for the 15 days that you have it, it actually works with no no limitations. You can actually work with it as if you actually bought it. After 15 days, uh, you might have to buy it, or if you find another way to get it, it's completely up to you. Uh, I just killed myself saying that. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can download that from here, and 3D, uh, Craft Director Studio will actually, you know, uh, determine which version of 3D Studio Max you're running and then install itself accordingly. So I was using 2012 and it automatically detected that I'm using the 64-bit 2012 version so it installed the appropriate version of Craft Director Studio for me. Okay, So um, let's go ahead and start right away and I'm going to be using the same car for the demonstration purposes. The best part about uh, this this plugin is that it will not only work on plain roads that uh, like the animation you saw. It can even work on you know uh, the terrains like if if you model mountains in 3D Studio Max and, and you want to animate your car moving on top of it, it can actually do that and it will actually uh, analyze the terrain that you have and animate the car accordingly. I'll show that in the in the tutorial as it, as it progresses. Anyways, I've wasted quite a lot of time. Let's go and start and do something. So I have my car here. And uh, okay, so if you model the car, you probably you separate the cars into different pieces. For let's say this is the roof, this is the main body. These are the headlights and the backlights. And you know, basically, um, you 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 model them in the, uh, you model them in different parts. Even the wheels, you model them basically in different parts. I'm guessing, um, you know, this wheel and this wheel are going to be probably different parts, consisting of the rim, the tires, the bolts, and whatever you want to call it. But what you want to do basically is convert all of this into one 
one basic object. So, for example, if you have the wheel, what you want to do is select all pieces of the wheel that make up the wheel, and then go to group and group them into a group. Okay, group them into a group called wheel underscore one or something similar, anything you want. But since my wheel are one cylinder only, I'm not going to be grouping them together because basically you want to have the entire wheel to be one one thing. So by one thing, I actually mean a one entity. So if you have all of the wheels, it, that actually to tell Craft Directory Studio that this entire thing is a wheel and that has to rotate. So let's say I have my roof, the body, the headlights. I'm going to select all of the stuff that make up the main body of the car. I'm going to hit group, group them into a group called group body. Okay. And uh, yeah. So I'll have my wheels, which are one parts only, but of course, I've said that before, but if you have a lot of parts in your wheel, which you probably will have, you just want to select all of those parts and group into one, and then select go to the next wheel, group them into wheel underscore two, wheel underscore three, and wheel underscore four. Okay? You basically get the idea. If you have any problems, you can always go ahead and ask me in the comment section below or PM me. Uh, I will reply to them. Anyways, um, now that was the preparation for using this plugin. Now, to actually use this plugin, you need to go to this hammer icon like this called Utilities. Okay? And you want to click on this button right here it says Configure Button Sets. Okay? The number of buttons here are going to be 10. You want to increase the number of buttons to 11. And then move down into this list and find Craft Director Studio Utility. And the, you know, also move down in here. You'll have an empty button right here. So click and drag this onto that empty button and then hit OK and you see that that button actually appears right over here. Okay, pretty cool. Just want to select, click on that button and then hit Start Director Studio and that's going to fire up the utility. Okay, so what you're going to do to actually do this animation is click and hold on this 4WE icon and then click on 4-wheeler extended. That's going to actually create the vehicle. So as you can see, the vehicle has been created and it's like, actually like a prototype of the actual vehicle. So I'm just going to go ahead and scale this thing up so you can actually see what's going on. So that's like a uh, temporary vehicle. It actually works with any any car that you have. So even if you have a very complex model, what you want to do basically is you know try to scale down and move up, down, whatever you want to fit this car, to fit this prototype onto your main car. I'm going to call it like main car as my main car and this is going to be called the prototype for future in this for, for the future in this tutorial. So we're gonna take the prototype and you know scale it up and down as much as you can to possibly match the length. Of course you will never get the perfect length because all cards are different but as you can see in my version also I'm not getting the perfect length but I don't really matter about the of uh, the prototype. All I want to matter is about the wheels because that's the more important. So I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize this thing now here for now and I'm gonna select the uh, select the prototype wheel and I'm going to click on this button that calls align. Click on that and then click on the wheel of your car. Now, this entire wheel is going to be grouped up. So if you're going to click on that, you can actually align your align the uh Craft Director Studio or the prototype wheel with the wheel that you have actually modeled. So make sure you take XYZ position here and then it's going to be center center and it's going to hit okay. So that way the wheel is going to be perfect. Make sure you do center center and nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to do it real quick, align and select it and align it to the main wheel. Make sure you do it using the prototype wheel, align your wheel. Okay, remember that. Finally, we have this wheel, um, align it to here. Okay, looking okay. So the wheels are now done. There's only one last step that you need to do before you actually start the animation process, and that is you want to click on this button that says select and link. Okay, this is the important part now. Now remember, you aligned the prototype wheels to your wheels, but this time you want to link your wheels to the prototype wheels. If that doesn't make sense, you can always ask me in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to take the click, click on my uh, main car here, body here, that's going to be one group, and click and drag from there onto the prototype. Okay, and that's just going to link them together. Okay, then I'm going to click on my wheel, click and drag onto the prototype wheel. And you see those selection brackets uh, appear and then disappear. That means the link was successful. Okay. So I'm just going to go from my wheel onto their wheel. Okay. Again. And I'm going to do that for all four wheels that you have. Okay. And that's done. You can hit W to enter the exit that mode. 
Okay, so time for the fun stuff now. Let's go ahead and open up Cloud Director Studio back up. And now, in, in, inside of here, you're going to double click on the four wheeler extended underscore zero one. So you go into the profile. So here you can actually set up the uh, the uh, suspension and all of that stuff. But basically, if you model the car, you know, with uh, you know, if you really model the car, you won't have to do all that because Craft Director Studio, you know, pretty much automatically sets the settings, and the default settings actually work pretty good. So you want to click on this uh, four wheel extended, and then click on this button, this gamepad kind of thing here, and click on that. So now this is the important part. You want to set up the keys that you want to use to actually drive your car. So these are forward, backward, left, right, booster, ABS brake, skidding, and there are a ton of features that you can actually set up. Now I probably won't get set up all of this because for normal animation you actually don't need all this, you know, spinner acceleration. But you can see that you can do pretty, pretty advanced stuff with this as well. So you know, cl click on this none button here, choose keyboard. It's going to be forward and then backward. So up arrow and then keyboard and down arrow. Now, if you actually purchased uh, the product, you actually have all these start profiles here, well, which are pretty much set up. So I'm just gonna double click on this example keyboard. That's gonna set up keyboard up arrow, down arrow, right, left, for right, and left. Then we have booster set up and all that stuff. We probably won't be using all that, but this is just a, a quick way to do it if you have actually bought bought this product. If you haven't, if it, if yours is a trial version, you can always set it up like this. Okay. Once you have all that set up, just wanna hit close here. And then click on this tube icon right here, so you can hide that uh, that chunky mass. Okay, let's go ahead and move this to the side and give our viewport some more place to work. And all you need to do really is hit record here, and this countdown is going to appear. And then using the control that you just set up, you can actually animate the car. You can see I can, I'm using the uh, controls that I just set up to animate this car, and you know it it, it pretty much does everything on its own. Okay, where to go? Okay, there we go. So look at that, I just, I just skid, okay, there you go. And I can actually move back, and then move forward, and any pretty much anything you want. But make sure you, uh, when you move forward, don't select two buttons at a time. Sometimes it doesn't work that way, okay? And then boom. And then hit, when you want to stop recording, just hit stop here. It automatically, uh, automatically extends the timeline to the required length. So, you know, sometimes the animation might just turn out pretty, pretty large, if you're having fun animating it like I just had, I just animated a thousand frames, and that took how many seconds? Five. Okay, so that was really easy to do. If you look at closely at the animation here, okay, you'll see. Look at that. The animation is pretty much perfect. You can actually see the wheels turning, and that's actually because the wheels are actually cylinders, and you can't actually see them. But in order to see them, actually you can go ahead and turn on slice okay now alright now you can see that the wheels are actually turning I mean if you look at those wheels they don't actually look like they're turning but they actually are okay look at that wheel actually turning and it's looking perfect so you can see that we have the fake suspension here you know the car moving forward and the tilting that we have here really really easy to use super fun to use super easy to use and really really worth a try so if you alright so now that we have the basics set up and we knew what we need to do. We can now go ahead and do some really advanced stuff, like uh, you know, animating this car on a terrain. So what you want to do to do that, actually, is take this uh, Crowd Director Studio window, and then take this and uh, actually before we do that, let's go ahead and create the terrain. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on geometry, and let's go ahead and create, let's say, a plane. In the top viewport, I'm gonna go to frame zero here, I guess and then go ahead and create a really large plane so that we can have our car animate on it at 0, 0, 0 increase the number of segments to let's say 20 by 20 and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be creating a terrain using Greeble because that's the fastest way to do it not the most efficient and probably not the best way to create the terrain for animation but that's all, that's all we got I'm guessing so let's go ahead and put it on our car and it, it lies perfectly, no it doesn't now it does. So let's go ahead and apply the modifier called Greeble on it. By the way, if you ha if you haven't heard of Greeble, I have a tutorial on that. You have a link in the de description below, and also a link that's popping up right now. You can go ahead and check that out. It's a plugin for creating, uh, you know, 3D cities in 3D Studio Max, as you can see, and really cool. Go ahead and give that uh, tutorial a try. Really worth it. And 
does wonder. So I have this uh, temporary terrain set up. I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck the panels. I'm sorry, not the panels, the widgets. So we just have some plain terrain here. And I'm not going to be doing it too up and down, otherwise uh, it's going to be pretty much pretty difficult to manipulate the car. Of course, this is a you know a fully integrated plugin, and you can do a lots of stuff with it. Which make sure you go ahead and check the tutorial that I have. Okay. All right. So once we have the uh, plane or our terrain created, what you want to do is go ahead and open up the uh, Crowd Directory Studio window, and then click on this two icon again, so that you can see the actual uh, prototype here. And then we have this thing right here. That's an arrow, by the way. It's being hidden by the floor here. That's an arrow. Okay. You want to click on this arrow and then link it using the link select and link tool link it to the floor now we linked the main body of the car to our to the prototype but this time we're linking the prototype to the to the to the floor and now let's go ahead and reposition the floor to where we want it to okay and now we're ready to go just go ahead and click on this two icon again to hide that uh, low poly version and then hit record i'm guessing yep Let's go ahead and record, and the countdown appears, and now, as you can see in the animation, okay, so the car is extremely light, and that's why it's actually floating, <laughs> okay, but you see the animation is pretty perfect, and look at the suspension there, okay, oh, okay, whoa, 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 easy, easy, okay, hit stop here to stop the recording, and if you see here, the suspension is actually really good, for example, if you go ahead and move back, you see that we cannot do this, okay, this, this was really messed up, uh, it's actually happening because the car is too too low poly and the suspension is too high and that's gonna you know okay but you couldn't have you to do this using normal keyframes in 3D Studio Max um, would take I don't know like uh, five years I'm guessing yep <laughs> and this with this one just took five seconds I'm guessing okay so the way you change the, the amount of suspension that we have just double click on this and you can change the amount of settings that we have from here the all that settings and once you have changed that settings you don't want to if you don't want to change the uh, the way this car moves just change the settings and then it re-simulate and that's going to animate the car with the new settings but with the exact same path that you just that you just told it to so that way you can actually go ahead and uh, do the animation it looks really cool also if you want to impress your friends what you can do is select this and then click on this plug icon right here that what that does is you know change changes all of the animation into keyframes so you can you can see keyframes right here okay because everything that is being managed by craft director studio so if you want to see those keyframes all you want to do is click on this show button right here and then click on this plug button right here what this does is converts as you can see here convert the selected tools animation to regular keyframes and making completely independent of pretty crowd record studio okay so now now you can go ahead and actually go ahead and impress your friends the animation is actually actually applied to the prototype here so to translate that all you need to do is right click and hide this prototype okay so let's hide selection and all you can hide all of these things and the animation is going to perfectly you know follow along okay pretty good let's go ahead and hide this now for now and this is going to be pretty much it if you guys have the money, go ahead and buy it. If you don't, uh, well, download the trial version and uh, zip. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, okay, so, yeah, that, that was pretty much it for this plugin. Make sure you go ahead and give it, give it a try. It's really cool. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button down below. It really helps me out. And subscribe because I have tons of new videos coming up. And they're going to be you know, pretty, pretty awesome, I'm guessing. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a nice day.